Hello everyone, welcome back to more chess. We're playing 1510 as white against Procopio. I don't know. I just noticed my patron wings fell off. I had them, I've, I've, uh, I had it for a month. That was, I was like, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing chess, but I enjoy the site, so I'm going to give them some, some, uh, this is a little exciting. I don't really want to do this takes 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 kind of sucks right so what if i just capture here invite their queen up but how happy about that are they really um anyway yeah i was like i'm enjoying the site I'm not sure if i'm going to be sticking around so long that i want to make it a full lifelong contribution kind of thing uh, I can do this now, right? No, because takes with check would be a bummer. There's stuff like this, check, but here, so... kind of want to get in front of the king. There's also this to try to contest the pawn before it gets much further, but I'd rather save up to be able to play this eventually. Yeah. Let's just get out of bishop to somewhere modest. Nowhere more aggressive seems possible. Anyway, but I've been using it for a month and still enjoying it, so maybe I'll convert to a recurring subscription for now. I mean, maybe I'll stop playing chess and want to stop the supporting, but not at the moment. Okay, so now I can't do this because it's double guarded. Um, I think castles is probably fine. Really? I mean, this, yes, it is attacking a weak point for me, but the support is what? This? It doesn't seem like anything to me. Like, yeah, I'm pinned, I can't take, but I could just do this, for example? I don't understand the point of this. Oh, I can do this. I always forget the queen is here. So it takes, 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 like I'm happy, right? I don't think I need to address this queen move at all. Oh, I'm so stupid. I can't do this because they get the rook. Ugh. I just saw it as soon as I made the move. Okay. Well, I guess I have here. Barely. But then it's kind of hard to support the knight, right? So I can go all the way home, which sucks. I mean, it's not home. It's the first rank. Here, actually, where is the queen going to go that she maintains pressure on this point, right? I have a bishop and a bishop. She could go here, but then be captured, so that's no good. So if we have all these spaces, and my knight here controls this, she has to go away, like, over here or something, right? She could go here and attack the knight. And I can't really defend the knight. Wait, but then I could take the, the bishop, right? Okay, so here, here. I can take take, and now my king is sort of exposed, right? But their queen is not so comfortable either on this square, I don't think, with these pieces all coming in here. I don't know. 
I think I might not be happy with that trade. I don't know. I'm going to go for it. Well, suppose they just go here and then don't actually take the knight. What am I going to do about it? Nothing, right? I'm going to just have this shitty knight? Okay. I'm worried that there will be too much pressure built up on the knight if I leave him there. I don't know. This really sucks, too, because now my rook can't ever get out of this problem. Maybe that's what I should have done, is here, here. I don't know. This? Oh, he was busy, huh? I didn't even notice. Okay, I get to develop this with tempo at least. Mm, not really with tempo, they can just take my bishop. But I don't mind that. It gets my knight back into somewhere useful and exposes this file for my queen, if they take. Oh my god. Yeah, that was why I needed to play knight here. So that I could actually move the queen and therefore take the bishop. Now I'm in a huge pile of trouble. Well, no, wait. That was what this was for. Okay, so they get a rook opposite my queen. And a queen opposite my king. I mean, these are not ingredients of a fairy tale. Um, here, here... Where do I put the knight? Nowhere good, right? Well, this would be okay. Or I could try to... No, that sucks. Mm-hmm. I have this if I can make the bishop move. I could try to glue in the knight, but actually, like, pawn push still gets him. And I suppose here takes check, king here, knight returns. I don't feel like I've really improved the situation. Well, I have, because they're not guarding this pawn, but they, they could just return also, and I, I don't know what... Like... Am I, am I happy to lose this pawn for this one? Maybe. But this queen is a lingering problem. I mean, I guess this... I don't... Well, I don't mind allowing this push. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this and see what happens. Okay, they can back up more. Sure. Does this attack... Attacking the queen and threatening this check, which could do something. Is this any good? I don't think so. I see. That's why I wasn't supposed to do this. Now my knight has to go into nightmare land. I mean, I can make this check first if I want. Is there any reason that would be good? 
the king would probably move, or maybe the rook. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's so great. Oh, you know, I could have taken the queen first. If I wanted to get rid of her. Just ignore the threat on my knight. Now the queen can leave. Okay, but she's not going to. I think it would have been better to take the queen first, but I, I missed that. And I'm getting a chance to do it now instead. They're enforcing this spot, so I can't put a bishop here, which I might like to do. Okay. Um, I guess we get some rooks behind the pawn, or in front of the pawn. Where is he going? He might like to get here, fork my rooks. I have a knight at the moment. He might like to defend the, the pawn or this square. He could do like that. Or maybe, oh, here. Yeah, this pawn's a little tough to hang on to. Okay, so I guess we have that available. Poor knight. <laughs> we gotta get rid of that pawn. Oh, maybe I should have done this to prevent the rook getting loose. But he still isn't really loose. The bishop controls that square. If takes here, do I want to swap rooks first? I don't think so. I think I would rather capture with the knight. Where are you going? I mean, try attacking this, I guess, in case I don't trade, but I think I should. Well, I could push, I guess. Make this bishop's life awkward. But I so wanted to get rid of this pawn. He's just such a menace. Attacked once, defended a million times. This is attacked twice, defended once, so I have to do something. I feel like this push would be good to let me maintain dark square pawns to complement my light square bishop. No, I just want to get rid of this guy. I mean, now trading rooks looks okay, because I'm not giving him the D file, right? But is there some tactic? Can I, like, do this and something good happens? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, let's just... I don't know. Let's in this insane bishop. Ah, and the bishop coordinates with the knight here. That would be a problem. Okay, let's chase away the knight instead. They do actually have to run because takes, takes, and the, the knight is unguarded. I mean, they have, to, they have to do something with one of these two pieces. They don't necessarily have to run. Oh, God, they have that! Ah! This is exactly what I was trying to stop, but I didn't do it. Well, there goes my material advantage. Oh, interesting. They're gonna take with the knight, huh? I thought the bishop. Oh, but now they're getting a discovery when they move. I see. 
this sucks. I can just walk away with my king, but then I lose the rook. Can I go somewhere where I could block the discovery? I don't know. The knight can just go so many places, like here. This is awful. This, I lose the rook, right? I need to move the rook if I want to do something good. Yeah, that's right. Taking with the bishop would have been check, but setting up a discovery is even better. I mean, there's this, but then they... That's horrible. They just make use of the discovery to win a piece right away. I have to, like, chart all the places the knight can go in two moves, and there's a lot of them. They could pick up this pawn, for example, but then they'd be a bit trapped, probably. Yeah, maybe I hang on to the pawn this way. No, I need to write the king, the rook. No, can't go there. Can't go here. I guess this, but they could just kick it with a pawn. Ugh. I could let them win the exchange, but I'd rather avoid that. Try to limit the loss to just a pawn. I don't know if I can. This knight is insane, of course. This comes with check, but doesn't work. This is check, but I don't see any advantage in it. I think I could just let them win the rook. I don't think I have anything better. Yeah, at about this point, I needed to take the rook. No, but then this whole thing still happens, right? Okay, so they're giving up a pawn. I'm not totally sure why. Hoping this, I guess? Probably better get this knight doing something. Fine. Now the rook is kind of tied down. Gives me time to develop a knight. Low. But something like this might happen someday. Oh, I don't have to go that far. I can just go here. So they should probably do something like this to defend? Or I guess they have this even faster, right? Yeah. That's a good spot for a bishop. Oh, that's the worst. Now my knights are stuck together. I can try this, which holds things together for a moment. But what if the rook, like, comes here? I'm toast, right? And I think this is just as bad. Well, not quite as bad. They could only attack me this way, and that's defended. Okay. And I have this, in case the pawn push. And 
Now this pawn is a target, perhaps? King here, knight here would be the dream. Stop them advancing. Well, maybe they don't really want to advance. If here, rook defends, then here. What exactly are they doing about this? They're threatening this fork, I guess? I don't really want to allow that. But I can't defend both pawns very easily, I don't think. I guess I can. Whenever they target one, I just... Mm, no. I see. Now, this fork doesn't really work because I have a knight there, right? I lose a, a knight, but I gain a bishop. I have the more active king, but he's certainly not a safer king. Mm -hmm. I think I can just drop back to here or here. Here would be a little better because that gives me this launching off square for the night. We're doing a good job of stopping the rook from getting in. Look at this. He can't go any further forward than his own second rank with all these minor pieces controlling stuff. Okay, so here forces something to happen. They're stopping this pawn from advancing. So that here... Here, right? Well, but I have, I have this, so... I mean, I can just take this. But I kind of like getting my knight out of this, right? Ah, I can't take here because of this fork. No, there's a knight there. But it could happen soon. Let's let's just <clears throat> let's just do things this way. So that there's no no threat of, of getting here, even. <clears throat> I think they would be happy for, like, <clears throat> check, takes, rook retakes. They've traded, but they got a really active rook out of the deal. <sighs> okay. Let's get planted in their territory. Threatening, like, you know, to become a real nuisance combined with this bishop, maybe? Wait a minute. Why didn't I just take their bishop first? Their bishop is way better than my knight. I should have done that. Check? No. Wait until they take and then check. Okay, pick up the pawn, but not with... Let's do it with the king. Tricky knights. Tricky, tricky knights. Yeah, I mean, sure. But I think this is okay for now. It'll be a little bit hard to tie everything together properly, but... Oh. <laughs> um, I didn't think of that. Yeah, that was the wrong move. Should have just brought the king in.
Okay. Well, you get my piece. This would be awful because of check win the night. I just gotta get like somewhere that I'm protected by pawns. Check king here sucks for me. Well, I could back off. Oh my god, why can't I just win this? Okay, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rook can't actually get in because my pawn's guarding the area. <clears throat> And then I can anchor the bishop in with this pawn. And not have to worry about two minor pieces. I think I'm happy here. Attacking the pawn and also getting out of the issue. Okay, get anchored in so I don't have to keep worrying about him. And return to the safe side of the board ish. The king's going to have trouble getting in, isn't he? Their king, he has to go this way. Oh my god, please! Uh, I forgot that I was busy there. Uh, I don't know, this doesn't even threaten anything. It just, like, makes it harder to defend my bishop. This would have been a good move, probably. Bishop here is kind of untouchable. I don't know, maybe I should... No, I can't push this. Like, okay, yeah. <sighs> this is coming with check, even. Oh my god. Pawn and the bishop, the pawn and the rook are kind of stuck to each other. So, what's the idea here? Am I in some Zugzwang thing? I guess I am, right? Not yet, but I will be. Because I can't move my bishop in a way that defends this pawn without dropping this one. So what if I try to defend this pawn with my king instead of my bishop? 
I don't know, this is double attacked. I can afford something like this, right? Because if they have a flinch, I can capture here, trading pawns. And I don't know if king and bishop versus king and rook is winning, but hopefully my opponent doesn't either. Okay, they seem interested in going for it. I mean, I really have no other moves at this point than this, so... They're not going to take here, they're going to go with this. I probably ought to keep my king away from the edge of the board, I don't know. Oh, this is bad? I need to stop them from being able to take while their king is nearby, right? So I need to get away from the enemy king, I think, with my bishop. I don't know, maybe I should have gone here to stay further from the edge of the board. But I feel like the bishop makes it hard to just, like, trap me completely. To do the classic king and rook checkmate. If I have a bishop guarding a square, I can do something good, right? Just don't put them on the same rank or file as each other, so you don't get rook forked. Or rook pinned or rook skewered or whatever. I don't want to go here because then this, right? Okay, I'll just go back. I hope we make it to 50 moves. I don't see myself winning otherwise. And obviously, I don't win that way either, but I get a draw. Yeah. So the idea is they want to establish opposition, right? But I can just, by keeping my king here, but my bishop stops them from getting this square, which is what they need to push my king back. And if they try to make a move that, like, wouldn't let me go forward, I just shuffle with the bishop. Like here. <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure what this is threatening. Mm-hmm. 
How long has it been since we had a pawn move? Or a capture? Move 57? Okay, so we're two-fifths of the way there, just about. It's going to be a journey. Okay, they also want opposition here to push me that way, I guess. Here, check is the idea, I guess. Let's take that away. So now this rook move doesn't work. I, I think I can defend this. I'm coming to that conclusion. I might somehow slip and not defend it, but I believe it is defendable. You you really can't attack the bishop. He's got so many places to to go. where he can still keep an eye on important squares. Okay, yeah. Some kind of king move discovery? I don't see the point. I would just go up here, right? Oh, you can't even move this way. That's fine. Here should be all right. Right? Here, what do they have that's a fork of the bishop and so on? I don't think anything. Move 57. So we're going to 107 if we want uh, a draw. Is that right? Yeah. Just here. Not here. Well, actually, that would have been okay. You can't go here just yet, but I'd rather be further from the edge of the board if I can. Okay, draw. Good game. I was winning for a while, to be sure, um, and I blundered away some pieces. I learned a new endgame, sort of. Let's look that up. Rook. Let's just look up whether that ending is winning or drawing. Chess. Why do I have to look it up? Bishop versus Rook game. Oh, look at that. Chess Network has a video on that. I've probably even watched it. Um, Rook and Bishop versus Rook and Game. That's not what I want. Bondless Chess and Game is a Wikipedia article. Queen versus Rook. Queen. Oh my god. Rooks and Minor Pieces? Rook versus two minor pieces is usually a draw. How do I? A bishop and two knights versus a rook is usually a draw, but the three pieces could win in, depending on the initial conditions. I, how do I find out like whether... Sorry, I'm, uh... I just want, I don't want to know, like, the tactic for winning this. 
It's a pawnless endgame. Rook and bishop versus rook. Rook versus a knight. Rook versus a bishop. Here we go. This is usually a draw. The main exception is when the defending king is trapped in a corner that is the same color as his bishop. In that case... It, it, it's a loss. And if you're trapped in a corner the same, that's the opposite color as your bishop, it's a draw, apparently. Okay, so this was a draw. I mean, I guess, I don't know. We could just ask the computer. It said this was a draw the whole time, sure. Okay, well, a long game deserved a lot of blunders. That's fair. Uh, let's have a look at them. Doesn't like castles. So I'm up by quite a bit, just for being more developed, or what? Is there some tactic? Rook, bishop here doesn't seem that great. They could chase me away and then here, here, for example. But then I get the pawn. Ah, interesting. Or they could not chase me away and just defend the pawn. So I don't think that's so amazing. I don't know. I'll give it a try. Nope. Some pawn move. This one to let this bishop out. Okay, what's the idea? Push it all the way. I thought I couldn't do that. Oh, but I realized later, I think, that I had the queen here, and that was why I can do this. Yeah, I pushed d4 later. On the next move. I see. But it works now. Fair enough. It says this was a terrible mistake. I guess it must have been this, right? Yeah, because it lets me take the... I don't know. No, this is this is okay. It says I have something better. Knight here. Oh, I didn't see that. It's defended by the bishop. Why is this so great? I guess just because the edge sucks. The bishop doesn't leave, huh? Why not? It's castling is good because... Am I threatening something specific with regard to castling? Is the king in danger somehow? I don't see it. Why not... Um, bishop... Here. Is the queen trapped? She doesn't look trapped. She has so many squares, right? Oh my god. This is like... I would never play that pawn move. That's so scary. But actually, I mean, I guess if I thought about it, I, w I should, right? This is... The queen has just moved to the only safe square she has. Right, here's... No, wait, here is safe, right? I guess there must be some follow-up attack. Knight here. But then she gets out there? I don't understand. I guess it's just like, okay, we're setting up this great... By threatening to trap the queen, she escapes, but in the meantime, we get a bunch of pieces all up in the enemy's king. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't I didn't consider blocking the queen's view. I I was only looking at the moves that defended the square directly here and here. Um but you can def because this square is defended, 
you can deflect the attack. But, like, why not then, um... Oh, right, if they try to kick the knight away, then we just, like... Oh, well, that's bad, because we get this pin against the queen. Um, but this... Okay, sure, we can attack the queen, and even if... Even if uh, she has an escape, they're not immediately attacking my knight. And it actually says trade the queen for the knight. Why not go over here? Oh, we get this. Huh. Okay, definitely a lot of complications in that position. So I missed something there, of course. The move that I played gives up my entire advantage. Honestly, this seems pretty good, doesn't it? I, I like, forgot that the, the queen was defending the bishop anywhere he chooses to go. And this chases the queen totally off of this file. Yeah. And then we could capture the bishop if we want. Well, she could go here, I guess. Okay, I'm not totally sure why this is so winning. Oh, right, because she only gets a pawn if she retakes here. And why, if I play this, doesn't the bishop just leave? Stay to here? Bishop sack? What? Okay, we attack the queen, but I don't see what was so great about this. Oh, this blocks the defense of the knight. And she can't get over to defend him anywhere. Oh, man. All right. I'm not going to spot that, obviously. Now here, I'm winning again. But I don't see why. I mean, I could play bishop here instead, attacking the queen. I guess. But I like getting the queen off the back rank. I don't know, maybe this is better. This is a really nice place for the bishop long term, I suppose. It says this is fine. It would have liked pawn push attacking... Oh, yeah, that's true. I eventually noticed that the bishop was in dire straits, but I didn't do anything about it soon enough, I think. Well, look at that, it actually likes my little cheeky pawn sack. And I assume this is quite bad? Yeah. Ah, it says don't bother defending the knight just yet. Get your rook improved with tempo. Still don't defend the knight. That's a bit of a surprise. Ah, this is a pretty serious threat, I guess. Interesting. So is this check, but... Oh yeah, this... this... Hmm. The knight getting to here was really a problem. I wonder, what about this bishop here, stopping the knight from getting to either of these squares that target the the f-pawn? It seems okay. And if they ever do push, I can push, I, I can capture, I guess.
It says that's fine, but it would prefer this? Is that the idea? What exactly is the knight doing here? Blockading? Apparently we're happy to just give up this pawn. Don't know why. Huh. All right, don't know. Mystery. So now I played bishop here and it was too late. They get this, which is really bad. I needed to just trade rooks, I think. Yeah. And then when they take, they have this threat, but I have lots of ways to defend it. The rook is here. Um... And the king is also defending. Right. The fact that this... Um, when I... When I moved here... Oh! I can take with the bishop. I didn't think about that. Then they wouldn't have this big issue for me. Okay, anyway, moving on. Yeah, okay, whoops, I learned about the answer to this one too soon. Now here I'm hugely winning, apparently. Just take the bishop, right? This is defended if I move my other, oh man. Okay. I was a little short of time in the endgame, but not, like, that short, right? Um, let's say I... Where the hell are the time counters? The clocks. That's what you call a time counter. Um, I just want to know how much time I could have spent here, but didn't. I don't know. The thing is, like, there's... In this, in this like, kind of endgame where there's a lot of open space... They're just, like, possible tactics every move. And I felt like I didn't always have time to spend on them. But I don't know whether, you know, how bad it was here. Um, I was excited to get my knight here to safety. Oh, yeah. That's true. And then this ended up leading to, like, getting my advantage back. Anyway, uh, moving on. No, 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 we did this already. Skip, 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 skip. Okay. And yeah, don't don't drop your knight. That's a good idea, too. Um, maybe just king up? Sure. A4 doesn't really accomplish anything. Apparently, I'm still way ahead here. This threatening here? King here? Apparently having two pawns is really important right now. I didn't think I would be hugely winning at this point. What if I just step up? Say the king tries to get over, step up again? King comes over, pawn push. Suppose king blocks. I don't know. I don't see any huge prospects here. Maybe this. Planning pawn push. No, that just drops the bishop. Oh, no. I mean, I could pawn push immediately, but then my king can't help, right? My bishop could. But the king can get over and overwhelm my my poor little bishop, right? And then I think they would have an advantage if they could trade the, the rook for a bishop and a pawn. I don't know. No, this is bad. Push! Didn't I just try that? No, I didn't. I thought, oh right, I was just saying why this is bad. 
right? Isn't like king here? Oh, the bishop's already guarding the promotion square. I see. So they can't bring the, the king over. They have to try to bring the rook over. And they're there just in time. But they don't get the bishop. They only get the pawn. So I was thinking they would get their king over and then throw the rook at the pawn and I would take the pawn, the rook with the bishop and they would take my bishop and it would be like pawn versus pawn. But no, I get this bishop and it's, it's immense. I'm way ahead. Hmm. Okay, well, an instructive game in many ways. Um, I think we're done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.